college football primetime in Muncie, Indiana, Northern Illinois comes calling as number 17 and undefeated ball state. Cardinals soar in with strong-armed quarterback Nate Davis guiding one of the most prolific offenses in the land. Northern Illinois counters with one of the top pass rushers in college football. Larry English and the Huskies have their own title dreams. Northern Illinois at Ball State coming up next. In an emotional moment here at Schumann Stadium, that is Dante Love in the middle. Love suffered a broken neck in a game back on September 20th against Indiana. He was an all-around playmaker for the Cardinals. He is still really rehabilitating from his injuries, and he's going with his teammates to midfield for the coin toss tonight against Northern Illinois. Look forward to that. Second down play for Ball State. And late in the first quarter, and they've applied a lot of pressure to Nate Davis. He's been able to avoid most of it. Davis firing down close to the goal line. And a tremendous grab by Briggs Horsbond. He's always looking to make something happen. He wants to throw it before he runs it, Coach. He makes it a spectacular throw on this play. Well, he has a strong arm, a quick release. He is impressive. He tight ends in the game right now for Ball State, and they'll try it the other way. Lewis ducking inside Larry English, spinning off and scoring the touchdown for the Cardinals. And what a sweet move by McCoyle Lewis to get this ball in the end zone. Nice, smart, low to the ground, spinning right here. The nice spin move. Look, chooses his hand for leverage not to go down. That's a smart player. Didn't know what type of team Minnesota had, but Tim Brewster's done a fine job there. Heartbreaking loss in Northwestern over the weekend. As Harnish again throws, and it's intercepted. B.J. Hill stepping home at 7 0. Ball State has the ball back. Nate Davis. Step up in the pocket and on a leash one, and he's got his man. It's complete to Lewis Johnson. Good in third down situations tonight. Just one of five. And in the top eight in America, normally Davis throwing to the end zone. Touchdown, Ball State. Darius Hill with the grab. Ball State off to a 14 0 lead on Northern Illinois. The Huskies hadn't given up more than one touchdown in a game over the last six games. Darius. The depth of your research never ceases to amaze me. Davis again, a flick of the wrist, wide open with the catch. Again, it's Lewis Johnson. I assume that the glove held up on that one. First down, Ball State. They're trying to run and catch, spin, throw it back to the infield, and then saw him hit a double and be on second before the ball returned. And a fire toward the end zone from Davis. Touchdown, Daniel F. This is the sixth straight run on the drive. Harnish has it. Harnish cuts inside. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Bill Polian, president of the Indianapolis Colts. This is the second time that you have seen Nate Davis live in person this season. What impressions has he given you? Well, I'm not really scouting him, obviously, because he's a junior. And, uh, you know, we, we really don't put a close eye on them. But you can't help but see his talent. He's, uh, he's quite a thrower. And he's got a presence about him that uh, is really exciting. Anybody he reminds you of? Uh, you know, I haven't looked closely enough, but uh, he certainly he certainly can throw the ball. That's obvious. When you're out scouting teams and conferences like the Mac, what kind of things do you have to? Well, Lewis, Lou Stoner, we'll get back to you in just a minute. Well, Lewis, run out of bounds inside the Northern Illinois 20. He touched down. Davis will keep it himself and score. Touchdown, Ball State. Hubbard to lead a full and normal life. His football career has come to an end. Davis, meanwhile, going up top, and he's got Lewis Johnson. Johnson inside the 10-yard line, and another big play in the Cardinal passing game. You're, you're right, absolutely. I'm hereby declared Des Bryant's a good receiver. What about Crabtree? <laughs> he's pretty good. Davis, player. again, is a pretty good quarterback. Lewis Johnson, the glove's still holding up. Still on his feet. Johnson with a flag on the play, and Lewis Johnson into the end zone. Touchdown, Ball State. It'll be up to the replay booth to look at it on their own. Well, the referee does a good decision. Whether if you think that he's close to being out. Oh, no, he's definitely, yeah, he's way out. We're back to 31 to 7, but Ball State with the first down. Opportunity to add on more. Davis fired for the end of this time. Johnson's got it. Touchdown, Ball State. Is that called re-rewarding the wide receiver? 
They had the wrong number, though. 55 wasn't my number. My number was 52. The right number tonight is 13. It belongs to Nate Davis, and he throws a touchdown pass again. Briggs Orsbond with the catch, and Ball State is rolling. They're down in two. Northern Illinois trying to gain some experience and finished with a little bit of a positive on a night that's been full of negatives. They do pick up the first down and more and running free is Ricky Kreider into the end zone. Touchdown Huskies. <laughs> Ball State remains perfect in Mac West play. 9-0 overall as Brady Hogan, Jerry Kill meet at midfield. The Cardinals roll on 9-0 and their dream to finishing the season perfect continue largely because of the efforts of that man Nate Davis. And he's had an outstanding game. Five total touchdowns in this game. He led Ball State to the victory. Well, once again, we shall see our final score, Ball State 45, Northern Illinois 14. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Sports Center's coming up for Rob Stone, Lou Holtz, Mark May. I'm Reese Davis saying goodnight from Muncie, Indiana.